Hey, so we've been going back and forth and we've done three of those mock-ups, those plywood mock-ups that we yep. put in the back of the truck. Check it out in a close to his real world environment is our... Uh, that means we climbed in the back of the 80 and hung out for 20 minutes. In our driveway. In our, in our driveway. It's fine. Um, but how we got to this final version well, the community, you guys played a big part in that. Thanks for that, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Like, the feedback was, was spot on, and we appreciated it, and specifically these guys. <laughs> thank you. The, tr the real trade-off is now the platform has to be taller by a couple of inches yeah. in order to go over the back of the, the, uh, the seats. They have to be taller. It has to be taller, and I was hoping to have it shorter, but... <laughs> After you guys mentioned it, it was like, you know what? That's the way to go. That way, if it's super cold, like if, in Utah in winter. If one of us bolts upright in the middle of the night, it's not going to end well. But the, we'll be enclosed. <laughs> It'll sound and like, what was that? Ow! As we uh, continue to build out the entire system, we're really stoked to have that Dometic fridge, the drawer fridge in there. And we will be including all of these details in the drawings, which will be available yep. on overlandbound.com at no charge. And then also we're gonna like have a summary on the process of what we did. So if you don't have an FJ80, if you have another vehicle type, we can at least step you through what you guys did as far as measurements. So yeah, the designs will be on overlandbound.com. We've gone through so much iteration. They'll be there once the design is complete. You guys take them and use them however you want. Yeah, I think that's it. cool. Yeah, I think that's it. We hey, on to like, is this going to be the final phase? No. You got <laughs> <laughs> We have. There's work to do. We still have to fabricate. <laughs> yep. Well, that's fine. Yep. yep. All right. Now we have the final design, what we think is the final design. Mm -hmm. We need to take final measurements. Let's go over to Parnell's shop, get her done. I'm out of here. All right. Okay, so I brought you, I brought you this present here. Fridge number one. I said, we got the dimensions, this is fine. And you said, I need the fridge. We need the fridge. We need the fridge to figure out <laughs> what kind of mounting it's gonna need underneath it, what Just kind so of venting we're gonna have to do for we it. We know exactly. And then, then we'll want it to sit up to here, I would think. There's no reason to have this hanging out of the back. Okay. So as you know, we went back and forth. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> was it? Yeah, How'd we do? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So uh, the philosophizing. Um, we went back and forth with what kind of fridge to get. Yep. I actually, because of the size of our vehicle, right? It's not an RV. It's not, you know, something that we might go off grid for six months in. Yep. I mean, we, it's, it's fairly small. I actually like the form factor of the smaller fridge because I, I like having to think, okay, here is the specific like refrigerated items I need to have. There's a little bit of discipline. If I want to have a cold beer, well, then I got to put it in in the morning, but I'm not going to store a 12 pack in there, you know, yeah, that, yeah, kind, yeah. that kind of deal. And you'd never get the sleeping platform with a regular ice chest or a regular it, Dometic yeah. uh, cooler in there. Exactly. What's our goal for today? What are we doing today? Our goal for today is just making sure that we've got all the auxiliary storage that's not already planned into this box as the drawer system figured out. Just Great. work out all those little details. We can look at the drawings I've done uh, and come up with our final, final design, get those numbers into the new drawing, and we can change the drawing. It'll parametrically change, so it shouldn't be a problem. Parametrically change, what does that mean? So when I did the drawing, yep. I actually gave it values, not dimensions. Great. So I said, you know, tube size, maximum height, 
distance off floor. And so uh -huh. you just change those parameters and the whole thing will change. We can look at it on the that, computer later. I'll okay, that's awesome, that's awesome. It, All right, so really dialing in. Really dialing in. <laughs> Okay. Okay. What are we looking at? So we're looking at the back of the FJ and the internal structure to support the refrigerator and the pull-out drawer. So uh, this is what it looks like sitting in the back of the uh, FJ. Yep. So we've got side supports, which we're going to actually end up deleting now because we're not going to need those. Um, so this is the frame itself. Awesome. And then we can change the dimensions of the frame and the size of the frame. So that's what it looks like with one inch tubing. This is what it looks like with half inch tubing. So now going to whether we're gonna build it out of the 80-20 material. The 80-20 is really easy to work with if you don't have the availability to weld. Yep. Um, it's a great product for you know what it does. I don't know that it's the best product for this because once this is in place, you've got, I don't know, uh, how much are those fridges? Those, those That's 500 plus, right? So you got $500 in the fridge, you got you know $300 in the drawer. You're not gonna be, oh, hey, we're changing this tomorrow and moving everything around. So I think building- <laughs> we're committed. It, yeah, building it permanently <laughs> probably makes sense. But what you'd need is you'd need your corner connectors, uh, you'd need some side clamps, and there's another way to do it without these side clamps, but it means very precisely drilling a hole in the tubing and tapping the bottom of the tube. So it sits in there, but these, in my opinion, would be much easier. You're gonna need some mounting clips to mount it to the um, ground, and you're gonna need some stop clips to uh, put onto it so the panel that we push underneath doesn't wander around underneath it, but it keeps it in track. So you need all these devices, and these are expensive. These little blocks are $17 and 85 cents. Wow. Uh, you need six of those guys. Wow. Uh, you need 12 of those. And it, you know, it doesn't sound like much, but they're $2.75 each. It adds up. I'd prefer to go with the half inch. Okay. I mean, that's what I'd prefer to go with if, if you know, we have reasonable confidence that that's gonna get us what we need. Yes, we do. I, I think the half inch will be fine. Uh, this is the bamboo applied to it. So the fridge would sit in here, the drawer would sit in here. This is your sleeping compartment, the roll in and out. So this that thing, looks That's awesome, that looks great. So this thing could be pulled out. Uh, this panel will be uh, removable. The top panel will be removable. You'll go into here, pull off the top panel, and then this panel will detach. So cool. you'll be able to get the whole thing open if you need to to get to the fridge. Uh, like I said, we're gonna have the inverter over in this section here, and it'll be easy to get to the inverter with this little pop-up door should, you know, you smell smoke or something crazy happens, you can get to it and turn it off. Again, we'll make this available for folks if they happen to have an FJ, they can... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do the final little tweaking on it today, and uh, I'm gonna cut uh, a piece just to see how it fits in there. And then once we have that done, I'll redo this so it's exactly the size of the back of an FJ. I, I can't believe I could not find anywhere that that exists. Neither could I. Uh, yeah, neither could shocked. I. Like how many, how people, many people have done this, probably done this and it's just it's not, there. not available. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I couldn't find it. Okay. So now do we have some measuring to do or Yeah, well uh, yep. Just uh, we're gonna make a, a, a quick sketch on here, uh, cut a little piece of wood out and then just double check all of our measurements, make sure that the drawing I have is correct.
How do you like that? Uh, that well, if I cut the right piece that I just drew, it would be fine, but I cut the one that I drew two minutes ago. <laughs> Version nine. <laughs> version, version. It's in video. I'll cut yeah, it. It's so, version two. Yeah, second chance. It fits. Second time. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's a good mold. This side is very similar, except for our little uh, speaker cutout, and uh, we're looking good. Right, so we did a bunch of little cuts, and we got this measurement. Yep. Uh, we determined the maximum size of the frame to maximize the size of the sleeping platform that goes up there. We figured out the little problems we had, like the pinch spot when you close the door, you could catch your finger in the gap between the box and the uh, door. Decided on the one uh, on the half inch half tubing inch, for most. Half inch tubing for 99% of the frame, yep. which will get the frame weight in at uh, 16 pounds which is Great. incredibly light for yeah, such is, a large structure. That is awesome. Um, next steps. Next what are we step, doing next? We need to order the steel. Okay. We need to order drawer slides, uh, lock in, lock out drawer slides. Yep. Uh, I'll send you the interior dimensions of the frame so you, we can get the right size slides. Uh, and once we have the drawer slides and we order the tubing, I really have everything else here. Great. Uh, we'll water jet out some little brackets for the bolting it down to the floor. I have the nut certs that we're going to put in the floor to hold it down. Uh, we'll need to order the bamboo, but I think we should build the box and get everything done before we order the sheet of bamboo. Great. All right. Cool. Thanks again. Great. Yeah, no problem. I don't. Easy. It just, it was amazing that, that pretty much by eyeing it, you cut it out the right dimensions the very first time. Yeah, the, the 11th time it worked absolutely perfectly. <laughs> <laughs>